there. <laughs> no, but, but <laughs> no, no, I, no. I was just gonna say I wasn't saying that he didn't deceive her. You know what I'm saying? To deceive somebody, you can use the truth. It's just used in the wrong context. It used in a way to make a person do something opposite of what that truth intended for them to do or or not even right or not even make them do something but make them think a certain way just think about the other day i put that uh put that video in the group chat right Mm -hmm. the dude was an atheist i do Mm -hmm. it because i know that the people in the group chat is strong enough not to get swayed that way you know what i'm saying but imagine if it was a hundred of us in there and it's people that's not strong enough, and they listen to it, you know what I'm saying, and it makes them sway another way, you know what I'm saying? You won't won't surely die, will you? (laughs) And and the thing about it is, they didn't die, I mean, okay, first of all, okay, let's just really just talk about, did she understand that, though? No, she did not. Like, I mean, even Adam, when he told, when he told Adam that, Hey, if you eat it, you'll surely die. Did Adam understand that? No, did Adam I, I, even, I, I, I believe he, he did. I believe did, he did. Okay, Wait. how how if he did not under if he didn't have the knowledge of good and evil, how did he understand that even doing the opposite of what God told him would be wrong? They didn't know so what do they we, were doing was so wrong. Do we do we do we know that they only, animals they only didn't understood die. what was good? Right. Okay, but do Wait, but on. do we know that animals didn't die? Before the fall, though, do you say, do we know? Do, do yeah. we know? I mean, the, the Bible doesn't, huh? If, if Adam can't eat it, it's a pretty good chance the animals can't eat it either. Not eat it, not eat it. They've been it's, giving, it, they've been doing sacrifices for Lord knows how long. Yeah, we don't know was, if Adam was doing sacrifices or not. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I don't think, I don't think that was the case. I don't so you don't think you don't think animals died not before the, the fall? Not in the garden. Not in the garden. Outside the garden, yes. Because I believe that there was sin inhabiting the rest of the earth besides Eden. I don't think that there was sin in Eden or the garden. I believe that that was a special place carved out, hewn out on earth with the intent of spreading that that glory throughout the rest of the earth. So you yeah, wanna, so I so I can go ahead. You want to hear something about that word you just said, hewn? Yeah, go ahead. To hewn out. Mm-hmm. You know the uh, story of the of the uh, the baby in the manger. You Jesus, about Jesus being born yeah. in yeah. a manger. You know what a manger is? Uh, a place where animals yeah. eat out of. Oh, uh, that's a trough. Oh, a trough. But <laughs> a manger. <laughs> no, that's fine. But a manger itself, when you look at the 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 construct of that word, it means to hewn out. A portion of rock from the ground. That's so exactly what it out. is. I was just going to say that I've right. I've seen like you know I, y'all know I, I watch a lot of archaeology and mm-hmm. I've seen in Israel what Jesus it, it was like a like like a side house right you right. know what I'm saying it wasn't like you know how we that's how we that's how we think of manger because we look at you know all these nativity scenes and shit with the little what's called like it yeah, wasn't a little, nothing a little like, box. like that it was like a like he said it was they dug out uh, yeah. Got a rock. like a little yeah. house yeah. you know what I'm saying so, that's so what it when, was yeah. when you said that Eden was hewn out mm. of the earth mm. look at look at Jesus being that's in dope. a hewn out right ain't it yeah. Yeah. a hewn out portion here it is. Eden is hewn out, and mm. Adam is placed in yeah. to do a work. First Adam, yeah. Yeah. then Jesus is born in a hewn out space and placed in the hewn second Adam. Mm. So was that off? Was that off the dome right now? Or you already because that because <laughs> I was these, just saying hewn. I don't know these, why I said these hewn. Are, these are, these I'm are, trying to I, make up for botching up words. You know what I mean? So, these are. These are words, you know, whenever I read the Bible, I try to, whenever I read, I try not to read the point. I try to read everything that's leading up to the point because yeah. everything that leads up to the point, especially when it comes to uh, Hebrew, uh, mm-hmm. it describes the thing that's in front of it. Yeah. Um, that's how just how the Hebrew language is. I'm still working on Greek. 
um, but Hebrew describes everything that's that's in front of the the point. So, um, so, and you have to remember, again, everything is purpose filled. So, mm -hmm. if there is something in the New Testament, it was foretold in the Old Testament. That's just yeah. how the Bible works. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Is, that's how it's reading. Yeah. Right. That that's yeah. how it reads. And so you have to you have to understand that if the Bible uses one word here and it says something over here that seems similar now when you find the similar lettery or uh, the similarity you mm -hmm. see what it's pointing to you know yeah. you see this reference that is this grand reference and because it blew my mind when i first read i was like oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 no nah, that's 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 good man what, yeah. what you got and that that just and that shows you the foreknowledge of god because mm, oh yeah we have to we have to break it down when we say that because mm -hmm. the old testament people didn't have a bible right mm -hmm. the new testament people were reform referring to the old testament right but what we're talking about is for us yeah mm -hmm. that go that shows god's foreknowledge from things that was happening all the way in the old testament knowing that we would see it Right. Not the people of the New Testament, not the people in eras of the Old Testament, but us. We would see. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. But I I, I want to go back to like originally what we was talking about about the glorified state and Adam being in this state. Mm -hmm. And I guess the original question was was this this effect physically of Adam? uh not having that glorified state was that something that was purely a spiritual thing purely spiritual because of this act or was it a situation where okay you're you're causing this 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 state of being for your physical self and that physically speaking like even with Enoch and them trans, trans transcending to heaven, because mm -hmm. we know Enoch was doing it back and forth. Yeah, was he? Was it all spiritual? Was his physical self? You know, I think it was his you, physical you, self. You know what astral planning is, right? Yeah. Okay, astral planning. If somebody's astral plane, you'll see their physical body laying there. Right. Because their physical body's still there, but consciously they're gone. Right. You know, and they even study the brain patterns, and it's yeah. like there's no brain activity right. during this state. Was that the case for, or could this be when we speculate or theory or yeah. we just throwing it out there? Was that something that was happening just spiritually, or was their whole body being? Transfigured, transformed into this state of being as Christ did because Christ was physical. I feel like that was a reason why, after his resurrection, he made a point to say, Give me some food and mm -hmm. ate, mm -hmm. to show that relationship to him being in the natural. Yeah, but we know that that natural body transcended up. So, right. was that happening? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that it was all? Was it all, was, it was all a dream, <laughs> or were Daniel and them actually leaving? Daniel said that he said, I saw my head on my pillow. Mm, okay, okay, so, start that out so like, we said, like, so like we said earlier, with, with Enoch, Enoch was glowing, his physical was glowing. So, same thing with uh Moses. They had to put right. a bag over his head. Other physical people with their physical eyes seeing this physical glow. Mm -hmm. Right. So Enoch, in lesson, he was leaving in the spirit and coming back, and his spirit was making his flesh grow, glow like that. He probably was going in the physical. Mm. Like you said, Daniel seen something else. He had visions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Their experiences was different. Mm -hmm. I want to get the exact number. Uh, exact number. 
is if if I had if I had to put a number on it, I, I would say there's three physical beings in earth, in heaven right now. Mm -hmm. That would three. be you said how many? Enoch, okay. Enoch, Elijah, and, and Christ. Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Just just for the just for the just for the the simple factor of there's this there's this uh, moment in Revelations that that for Revelation, excuse me. <laughs> well, I, if I had said that, if my other pastor friend was on here, he would have slapped me silly. Um, but <laughs> it says um, it we you have the instance of the two the two witnesses, correct? Mm -hmm. The Bible doesn't give us names on who these people are. However, it says that they basically escaped death, that they were just they they were alive or they they're still alive. And this is their moment to uh, to pass through death's gate because mm -hmm. all man has to pass through death's gate. So the only two people we have in the Old Testament that exist in that way are Enoch and Elijah. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm not saying this with any certain uh, without, without without being certain about it, but just reading the text and the way that the text reads, mm -hmm. the physical nature of Jesus Christ because he has the holes in his hands, mm -hmm. Enoch being taken up into heaven, mm -hmm. uh, and Elijah. What, you got to remind me of what Elijah how Elijah transitioned. Um, uh, chariot of fire. Was it? No, Enoch. Enoch yeah. was like a just a yeah, transition. It's, just it's, it's a whirlwind of fire. If fire okay. was involved, they came and picked him up. Yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. So Elijah didn't nobody see him leave, man. They think yeah, no, they, Elijah. No, Elisha, Elisha seen him leave. That's yeah, how he I got think, him out. Yeah, I think he one saw, person. But yeah, but yeah, they yeah. was at a point. Remember, yeah. they they had crossed the Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know, the water split like Moses, mm -hmm. and they crossed the Jordan. And then the water went back. So everybody else that was following them, they didn't make it to where they was at. Right. So, but Elisha seen it. But you know, I, I was thinking about that glow, the glowing thing, right? The glowing thing. Mm -hmm. And people seen Moses. They had to put a bag over this dude's head. This is a physical encounter that's happening. I was looking for the exact number. What I was talking about is is that it's like two point something trillion volts of energy. Inside of a human being, Dang. that's a lot of energy, bro. That's a serious battery. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, and if, if you think about the Matrix, right? Yeah, you know, like, that's what I was going with. It. You think about the Matrix. That was the reason. That was the whole story. Right. That these computers was using humans as batteries. You right. know what I'm saying? And they was powering all of this stuff. And I, I'm just tying in these spiritual accounts. I'm not taking the divinity away from these encounters at all. Right. But I'm seeing the possibilities of even us right now, how right. we're made in the physical, the possibilities we just don't know or understand it. Right. I think the sinful nature or the, and I'm, I'm throwing a little Gnostic in there, mm. okay? Little Gnostic is okay, you know, they believe salvation is through knowledge and understanding, okay. okay. But the sinful nature of man is not so much like sin, like bad, evil sin, it's forgetfulness. We don't know who we are, okay. You don't know the capabilities, you don't know who you are. You have all of this energy inside of you, right? Two point something trillion volts of energy. You could make a bomb. You could blow up a whole building with that energy yeah. outside, but it's in us, harnessed in us, right. protected in us, right. you know, and that energy is some type of way being, oh, oh he got a face oh. reveal. <laughs> now, I ain't seen Nando in almost, almost six months now. This Dude. crazy. You didn't just hold, you didn't change the whole show. No, I'm just playing. I'm just being. I'm being extra. But look, back to what I'm saying. Energy, like that, could have a lot of significance to why these things were happening to some of these patriarchs when we read about it in in, in the Bible. I, you, y'all know, I believe that we're in the age of understanding. I believe mm -hmm. that in BC time, early early history, ancient history. I believe that knowledge was being laid out. The foundation for knowledge was being laid out. 
and and it was the precursor to Christ. Like if Christ came to bring the truth, that means that the knowledge was here. Okay. The truth was for us to gain where we're at now, the understanding, and that's unfolding. I ain't okay. saying we understand it all. Right. But I do believe that where we're at right now is more understanding of everything that's been happening from ancient history to now is is being being laid out, you know. Yeah. But maybe it was some that had this understanding then. We're talking about the patriarchs. Right. They fully had now he's just gonna disappear on <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> Fully had to understand. He, want, he, he, he the only one want to be the ghost. You know what I mean? A disembodied so, voice just going. Hey, so this going to have to make people watch it. Like, look, if y'all want to see this dude, you got to watch all of this video. I ain't going to tell you at what point he reveals himself. If y'all don't stay and watch it, y'all miss it. So just for all y'all this listening via podcast audio on the video version nando is not known to man right you know what i'm saying but we got a glimpse so let's a stay glimpse. let's stay let's stay where we at yeah no but, but will y'all see what i'm saying with the energy go ahead yeah so, so in in connection with with the energy what you really are talking about spiritually are you talking about spiritually spiritual inheritance right and with all of them in the old testament they continue to tell the stories of how great God was and every example and every situation that they had. So the story can continue to be told because we always hear it says you know, a good man leaves inheritance for his kids, kids. But we got it messed up thinking we need to leave him a boatload of money. No, mm. keep telling the story about God. Right. That's the problem. And that's and just in the Old Testament, as you saw, when they got forgetful, they got wayward, and they stopped telling the stories of God and stopped telling mm -hmm. their kids about the story of God. Before you know it, now God got mad at them because they worshiping idol gods. They not paying attention to the law. They not doing anything. They they done got way away from who God once was because they done forgot because people have stopped telling the story. Mm -hmm. Right. That's okay. Do you do you think do you think this happened? after the flood or was this happening before the flood because it was happening before the flood I okay think before the flood. okay okay was it happening before the flood with the children of eden i think at some point in time yeah well you have to say yeah because what what story was cain and abel giving their kids two different okay ones. okay I would I mean, say that's, that's entirely possible, but well, I would say if anything. I would say if any, daddy, what was your granddaddy? What was your life like? Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I would say if anything, because let's go back to the book of Enoch. Okay, we read in I think book number two, or no, 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 no. It's not even the book of Enoch. It's Jasher, I think, or Jubilees, when it's talking about Enoch when he was and you could jump in at any time and help me out now if when he was going back and forth first it was like he'll be there for a month and then i'm and i'm just paraphrasing i don't know the exact numbers he'll be he'll be with the people for a month and he was a king it, and it said that we was talking last time about kings but it said that enoch was ruling over these people and he was gaining all his wisdom because he was going to the heavens getting this information going back teaching these people right ruling that's what uh, in my Bible it says it use right ruling, teaching them how to live. But the more he would leave, the longer he would stay gone. And when he would come back, he would only stay a short time. Mm -hmm. And right. it got to the point he was doing that so much that finally he was just like, he told his son, he was like, look, I need you to, to follow these laws and principles so people continue to live righteously because I'm not coming back. And they, they followed Enoch, tried mm -hmm. to tried to chase him down. He telling them, no, y'all can't go with me. Y'all need to go back to the city because y'all are die out here. And it, it said the number, too. I forgot how many was. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people following Enoch. Mm -hmm. My thing, my question to this is, is that the line of Adam, okay, the only break that you see before the flood was Cain. 
Okay. Cain was the only one that had to leave Eden. It said you have to go to Nod, which is east of Eden. At this point, they were still in Eden. They were still living righteously. They still was in Eden. All, all throughout this point, you see Cain's the only one that broke apart. And he started a city. So what you were saying, Mark, is about, Ooh. you know, what? Go ahead. What you so so we got to be careful again. We're, we're reading a little too fast. <laughs> <laughs> because okay, you're correct. Cain did leave and started a city. Mm -hmm. That word city does not reflect our modern day city. Let's it's break not, it down. It's not a uh, it's not a, a town. It is an idea. It is a an agreement. It's an accordance. Are so, you saying the word that was used in the Hebrew? Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Okay. Yeah, right. the word that you use that that you're using in Hebrew there re, re, uh, points to a point of view or an idea. It's um, awesome. I love right. this knowledge. Right. Come on. Wait. And so and so what it's doing is it's the multiplying of the mind again. Mm -hmm. The the <laughs> the thing that y'all hear Jonathan he just talking. Mm -hmm. The thing that happens, however, is if he's multiplying his mind, mm -hmm. who is he multiplying his mind with? Yeah. Exactly. So now that we established that, that there's somebody that he's talking to, the question is, where did these people come from that he's talking to? Yeah, we was talking about that. Right. And yeah. so you know, it, it, it says it's his kids. Oh, it, it says that he left and built the city and named it after his son. Right. It was his kid. Right. But, yeah, that's but, who he, okay. you know what I'm saying. So you tell and me he took it's some just people one with person? Him. Right. Yeah, he so had to take, did, he had so, take some people with him too. Right. So where did these people come from? Yeah, but see, we, we was talking about this just talking he about took this yesterday. Yeah, remember, but, He took them with him. Because remember, he took he took his wife and he took Abel's wife too. So he probably took from? all of the servants and everything and shit. Where they come from? <laughs> Whose children are these? No, oh, yeah. Are yeah. they are they Adam's children? <laughs> are they Cain's children? Are they are they uh Abel's so, children? Right, right. So We're we don't we don't know because so well in the book of after the one fact, of those, after the fact it says that um Adam Adam had more sons and daughters, mm -hmm. but that's after Cain and all that because it's bringing you know it's it's ushering in Seth. Right, you know what I'm saying. So it says after the fact, but we don't know if. Mommy. They have more sons and daughters. Mommy. Why can't they? Mommy. Mommy. Man, okay. Let, let's Mommy. let's just talk about this real quick. Uh, okay. Huh? The name of the the name of the city that he built, which Will said that in the original Hebrew, that word for city is the thought or idea, right? Okay. So. But he named this thought of this idea after his son. What was his son name? Not. Huh? No. Come on now. Oh, no, it wasn't. Good. It was Enoch. It was Enoch, man. So this thought of idea that he birthed was Enoch. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't think y'all grabbing. I grab exactly where we. I'm grabbing it, this, but man. like the the timeline. The no, time no, no, no. This is right. back into what Marcus said. Go ahead. No, I was not saying. Hey, huh? Enoch not his son. Enoch is his grandson. No, no, no. Cain his son. grandson. His we grandson ends up killing him. We didn't say that, but his son, Cain's son, name is Enoch. It says it. Okay. Now is it the it's same the Enoch? Song. No, that it, we don't know. It's backwards, actually, ain't it? Kind of like it's Enoch, and then the, the descendants of yeah. him is like so most of, of most of so it's like so backwards. Adam's, yeah, Seth kids and Cain kids all have the same names and shit. They just mm -hmm. in yeah, different but it's, order. But it's in, diff in different orders. It's mm -hmm. in the backwards order. Enoch came down here with Seth, but then up here with Cain, Enoch was first, and then it was like. Jared and Uzzle or whatever, and the names ain't exactly similar, but they're closely related. 
all of the names. You know what I'm saying? But my thing tying in with what you're saying, Mark, about these people and their state that they was in, maybe this came from Cain being taken out of his family, out of this way, and starting his own city, his own thought, his own idea. That's what Will said. You know what, what I was talking about. Like, and that's, about and that's saying, where why would he need, Why would he get kicked out of eating and then to tell happy stories about eating and he got that's kicked good. out? That's good. What you think about that? Now, the, why would Cain get kicked out by Yahweh but still want to roll with Yahweh? This dude kicked me out and he didn't accept my sacrifice. I was loyal to him. Why no, would I, I continue to? No, I understand what y'all saying, but that's still saying like. So, just like just like us, right? Okay, good. When when God does something that you don't think like, God does something that you're not happy with. Do you go off and bad mouth him and shit? Hmm. No, that, no, that, that, but that's us though. We and we have a lot of to go on to not automatically about, go bad mouth God. Like, so. You don't think he did too? His daddy was like, 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 bro, like, bro, you gotta think about they coming into existence. Like, they don't have a coming into existence. Like, uh, like, uh, um, um, like Peter and stuff like that, to where their parents can, can tell them story about and all of that type of stuff. Like with 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 Cain and Abel, like all they knew is what their parents told them. Right? They were that's what I'm with saying. God. That, right. Wait, that's wait, what I'm saying wait, though. Wait, 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 wait. But their relationship with God was still different, obviously enough. When we were talking about it last time, Whoa. God showed up and was talking to Cain, talking about don't do that. You don't mess with him about their oh, father, father. You know, right? He oh, won. Mm -hmm. So it ain't like he didn't have no sense of there's something out there going on outside of him. Right? So after Cain killed Abel, that was his take, his first take of possibly seeing how God treats the mm -hmm. other people. Right? He never really had a taste of how he treated the people yeah. outside. Of I can see that. He's yeah. Taste, but so imagine now all this time it's been good, it's been good, it's been good. And then now your creator's like, yeah, now you done overdone, yo, it's been good. And I go out there and be with the rest of them, like really rest of them. Like it's not a blessing okay. to me the way yeah. you act. Like you like like I'm saying as a human being, like you said, we human. He's human. You don't think he's upset, frustrated that okay, I did something, but do I do really stay here, gotta live forever? Do I got to go and start my own society by myself? Like you yeah, can't just and, and, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let, let's 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 think about. I mean, let's go back to what we said about the other. Okay, if the world was already populated, if we go back to my theory of one Genesis one and twenty six and and Genesis two being two separate accounts, and God created this special group of people. The children of Eden, Adam and his kids, but the rest of the world outside of Eden is populated with others. And Cain comes into contact with these others. First of all, it's going to be easy for him to take dominion over because mm -hmm. he's Cain. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're the son. You're the. You're matter of fact. You're the first son of Adam and Eve. Yeah, first. First, came the Adam. first son and daughter. Remember, they were yeah. twins. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 but the point that I'm making is, is that he's he's a well-to-do dude. He goes out here. Yeah, he probably take whatever kids or wives or servants or whoever in their family that was part of the children of Eden. They was loyal to Cain. That's the thing. Would they leave with Cain? That's the thing. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. They left. He took his wife. He took that means he took everything, everybody that was associated with Cain and Cain's clique. And they went and they built this idea, this city named Enoch, the opposite of the righteous Enoch, the opposite. Remember, the enemy always does whatever God does, the enemy does the same. He duplicates it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's twisted. That's what wicked is. 
just take something that's straight and you twist it. You know what I'm saying? So now we got this twisted version of this royal holy family. You know what I'm saying? Running wild and multiplying. You know what I'm saying? Because remember in Genesis 1 and 26, he told them be fruitful and multiply. You know? So they're multiplying. It's a lot of them. But you still, the point that I'm tying back to is I believe that the children of Eden remain righteous. And that's the reason why Noah was so significant. You know okay. what I'm saying? They all remain righteous. And it wasn't okay. until all of them went. It, it, let me say this last thing. Noah comes from Abel's line. Noah comes from Abel's line. Noah comes from Abel's line. Hold up, bro. Huh? What'd you say? Not Abel, Noah Seth. Abel's line. Seth. 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 He comes from Seth. So Seth, but Seth is uh, Cain, ain't it? No, 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 no. It was Abel, so it's Abel, it's Cain and Abel. Abel yeah. As far as far as we know, it's Cain and Abel. As far as we know, Abel didn't have no kids. So when Cain killed Abel, God gave uh Adam and Eve Seth. That's the line the Jesus place. comes from. Yeah, take the place of Abel. So all of the yeah. lineage that you read when we was talking earlier about the nine kings before the flood. That's all from Seth, from Adam, Seth, all the way down to, to uh, Noah. Everybody died. Everybody died in that lineage before the flood happened. So Noah was the only children of Eden that remained. Okay. And and so, and, and yeah. not on, and wait, that's wait, what, that's not, what I was about, wait, wait, and that's what I was about only, to say too. And this, I, I'm before not you even, go, even wait, before you even went any further, because well, well, all of them, all of them couldn't have stayed righteous because everybody died except for Noah. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Bro, them dying, they had. <laughs> I don't believe them dying. Listen, listen. I don't believe that them. What do you mean? Why are you just saying them too? What you mean? Listen, listen, listen. No, I, I have believe, brothers and shit, man. I, let me let me say my point. I don't believe that them dying had something to do with them disobeying God or living sinful because Adam died because God told him that he promised him that. That's the reason why they was living longer. Methuselah lived longer than, than Adam. No, Actually, no, 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 said, no. I'm not talking about dying like of old age. I thought he killed them with the flood, no, man. They no, Adam, listen, shit. listen. Wait, wait, wait. No, listen. You, you, missing, you, you missing what I'm saying. The children of Eden died before the flood. So when I'm saying that, I'm talking about the nine kings. All of them died before the flood happened, okay? And all of the children that they had that were part of this region called Eden, all right? And I'm tying in what I was talking about earlier with Enoch and all of those hundreds of thousands of people that was following them. They was living righteous. Enoch taught them, taught them the ways. Why would they be in the class of wickedness on the earth to Where generations of men aside, aside from Cain being the one that was out of Eden? So why did they die in the flood then? They didn't die in the flood. They died naturally before the flood. Huh, Noah's, no, was it Methuselah? Methuselah died. So even Noah's daddy died before Methuselah. Methuselah dying, he was the oldest one. That just showed that all of the children of Eden was they died. And we say so, that we say that we don't know. He could have took all of them like how he took Enoch too. We don't know that. Yeah, you're right about that. Back, yeah, you right. Back to what you I, I get what about, you're saying about what you were saying about if they find Adam, they ain't probably not gonna find Adam. Okay, dude, that would be crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that has always fascinated yeah. me. Yeah. But the how point we, that I'm making is before how, God, how before God though? brought this, he, before he know? brought this punishment, before he bought this. I mean, it's not that we know, but I'm I'm putting the pieces together. We got this special group of people, the children of Eden. These people are special. The rest of the world wasn't. This is the reason why he's wanting to destroy the rest of the world. He's not going to destroy his 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 special group of people. And why would his special group of people, any of them, have any reason to not live in Eden anymore? Yes, I'm not saying it's the garden. No, but it's still Eden. Eden still was a special place. It still was hewned out. 
we go mm -hmm. back to the beginning of it, it was hewn out. It wasn't made like the rest of the earth. The rest of the earth has uh plants and stuff in it. So, that has seeds. so what you so what you saying is so what you saying is all self descendants died and Noah was the only one left when the flood came? Not all Seth, all Adam's descendants is Seth for Cain. And Cain probably died too. And I think if we read in other things that he died too. Cain did. No, no, but no, he, no. But I'm he had already... About... What what I'm, no 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 what I'm saying this is what I'm saying this is what I'm saying like all right, so so this is this is what I'm saying me you and Marcus right we all brothers right we all around the same age nobody's finna die so if God brought a flood now and saved me what about y'all y'all self descendants too though all right let me let me let me that's what I'm asking. Let, let That's me what I'm like at. Let me do it the like this. The people that was around him. Okay, listen. I be Kane. I be Kane, right? So I'm Kane. Me, Nando, Willie, Marcus. Because I ain't want to call neither one of y'all Kane. I ain't bogus. Oh, that's good. Right. No, I like that. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm all right. But we all brothers, right? Okay. And we live, we live together, and we special, and we unique, right? We in our family. And then it's other people outside of our family. A lot of them. It's only us. And but I got a wife, you Nando got a wife, Will got a wife, Marcus got a wife, and then we have a bunch of kids. And then our kids have kids, and then our kids have kids, and then it's a lot of us, but we're all one family, right? But yeah. then all of a sudden, because the other people outside, there's more of us. Because remember, the Bible said, be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. So he spread mankind, male and female, all over the planet, just like he did the animals and everywhere. Yeah. So they more of us. It's a lot of us, enough for us to populate Eden, a region that we live in, okay? Because of the rest of it, he said, I repented because I made man. They're evil. They doing mm. all of this stuff. He ain't talking about the children of Eden, though. He's mm. not talking about these people. He's talking about the rest of the stuff that he made. And remember, I talked about that before. I was no, like, what? go ahead, Nandu. I understand that, but you're saying that, but he still killed all of them. Let the me. I, I, ain't got to it. I, I ain't got to it. Let me finish the analogy. Okay. So he said he decides that he want to kill everybody before that happens. Mm -hmm. And 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 the only in this oh, oh it's coming to me. So you got to think about how generations go. All right. When it said that Adam died, it's talking about Adam and his generation. His lineage. Yeah. His lineage died. Right. Jared. Methuselah, Enoch, oh, so on and so. So when right. Methuselah was still alive, which Methuselah, Methuselah, Methuselah mm -hmm. <laughs> was older than Adam. When he died, he was the last one, Nandu. Him and his lineage, well, it could have been hundreds of thousands of them, mm -hmm. their people were taken off of the earth before the flood. Before the flood. So when you're saying that they died yeah, in the no. flood, you're where not you talking about Where you see that at? You're not talking about, I'm not seeing it. I'm reading in the text. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, Moses gave us, or whoever wrote it, he gave us this quick version. But you got to understand these nine generations being taken off the earth before he flooded. And it was it, it was specific that Methuselah had to be taken off the earth before it happened. Because he only saved Noah and his family, the youngest, out of this out of, out of this lineage. Right. He saved the youngest in his family before before Noah could make a whole bunch of, of his tribe big. Right. Look how big Noah made his tribe. Us. Before Noah could do that, he said, let me get rid of all of the other riffraffs. Okay. The, so, of they won't, so it won't mix. So yeah, it won't so mix. it won't mix. Come on. Right. That's why. So it wasn't when he destroyed the rest of the earth, he destroyed what he created in the beginning, which was these non-special that did not have the breath of the Ruha breath of life blown into their body and became a living soul. That wasn't is not what Genesis 1 and 1 is saying. Now, now I'm gonna get really tricky with this thing and I'm gonna go back to the names of God, man. I have to with this. I have to go back to why in Genesis 1 is 31 chapters. I'm correcting myself in the last chat, I said it was 28. Genesis 1 to 31, you only see in the original Hebrew the word Elohim. That's a plural form for God. Okay. 
You don't see Yahweh at all. You yeah. only see Yahweh until you start talking specifically, specifically about Yahweh and his chosen group of humans, perfect humans, Adam. Hmm. Yahweh made Adam. It changes immediately from Elohim to Yahweh. What am I saying? <sighs> this is the hard part. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the hard part to say because now we live. We saying this to the masses, but I'm going to say it. Elohim is plural. The divine council, we can jump right into talking about that, but that's going to have to be another that's a episode because the episode. divine <laughs> council is a lot. This was not the one top head honcho God mm. in just in control of creation by himself. Okay. Elohim was a part of it. Hence why he said, let us make mm -hmm. man in our own image. Something that was already not on the up and up made something. Okay. Okay. Yahweh came around and said, no, this is how you make it. This is how uh -huh. you do it. That's this is how you make animals. Mm. This is, and ooh, something else just popped in my head real quick. I'm sorry. Oh. I get so excited. Starting getting the dinosaurs? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing why, why it was not no sea creatures, okay? In Genesis 2, he made the animals and he made birds, he didn't make no sea creatures. Adam didn't name no sea creatures. Okay, sea creatures was made first. And if you look in the original Hebrew, and I, I could I could say it right now in the original Hebrew, Genesis one and one. I'm just gonna say it real quick to y'all. When he made when he made it, this is what it say in the original. It says he did say he named everything in the garden. In the he garden. Yeah, in the right. garden. It, it ain't no sea in the garden. Yeah, ain't it, no water in the garden. Ain't no water in the garden. It was getting water by the, the water was flowing into it and the mist came up from the ground. Ain't no water. Okay? Here why, is it not no, why is it not no sea creatures? What does the sea represent? Hey, it goes back to what we was talking about in the chat. Why it ain't gonna be no more sea. Pangea. Why it's not gonna be no sea? The sea represents the abyss. The abyss represents Sheol. Okay? The grave. Okay? Mm. The first creature that was made, oh, I'm a fan. Of, what do you say? Uh, let me just say it. I gotta say this one because I want to. Let's oh, wait. He wants. He said, "Look, this is verse 21, Genesis 1 to 21. It says, and Elohim created the great dragons.'" Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Now do no, nah, I just I'll just chew on that for a second. Elohim created the great dragons. Where, where, where do you see great where do you see great dragons at? Or dragon period. Anything associated with dragon, we're talking about who? China. You said China. Yeah, I know it. I know it culture, but in the Bible, when we're talking about dragon, who are we talking about? Thank you. Say it again, Mark. Revelation, you don't see dragons. Revelation, man. Elohim created the great dragon. That was the first creature he made. What am I saying, y'all? Yahweh came in. Let me show y'all how to do it. We ain't making no sea creatures because that's evil. That's the opposite of me. I'm not creating. I'm going to show you how to create righteous creatures. I'm going to create. show you how to create creatures that I feel, and then we fast forward a little bit to now to your flood story when Noah starts splitting up the animals and we talk about, we see the animals that had the breath of life in it. But remember you was telling me Nando about why it was the clean, clean, clean animals and unclean animals. It was animals that he was going to have to eat and then son that he was going to use for sacrifice, blah, 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 blah. It's, you're seeing this distinction between the animals that were created in the first chapter of Genesis and the animals that were created in the second, it's a difference. Why is it a difference? Because one of them ain't right. Hmm. Duality, what we'll be talking about. Why are we seeing two different accounts? Because hmm. it's duality. Duality had to be created. Sin had to be created. Evil had to be created. If it was a tree in the garden that was the knowledge of good and evil, evil had to already be created. We go to Isaiah 45 and 7. He said, I created the light. Mm -hmm. and, and the, the darkness. darkness i created peace no he said no uh, let me go back he said i formed the light but i created darkness i made peace i made it 
Mm -hmm. He didn't create it. That means peace came from something already. Light mm -hmm. came from something already. He just manipulated for the cause. Right. But he created evil out of nothing. Now, do you see this 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 significance tying in? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, real quick, the, real quick. I sent I sent y'all uh, in the group text about that word well. Um, in his Hebrew, in, in the Hebrew there, uh, it not only refers to marine animals, but and and yes, you're right in the regard of an evil thing, a serpent against, but it also refers to the dinosaur, yep. a reptilian. Yeah. So I got to go back and read that. Dog. You're, just, you're making my head hurt, but whoo, that's a thought, man. Because I really had, because I I want to, you know, me and Nando had this conversation years ago I about dinosaurs too. not being in the Bible, and and it's just like, it's like it's got to be there. But yeah. now that you're saying that Elohim is a multitude of gods and Yahweh being in his singular net in his singular existence, if there are two parts and I'm watching one do one thing over here and another thing do another thing over here and the duality comes into place it's starting to make a lot of more sense mm -hmm. but the reason the reason we kind of um and, and and Americans do this this is what Americans do because it's not first in order mm -hmm. we think it holds more significance so we look at we look at Genesis 1 and we look at Genesis 2 like they're in order they're okay. not yeah, something yeah. something's amiss. So yeah. if you got Genesis one over here and it's telling the story of this this multitude of gods creating this thing, and then you have over here, and I think is when you get is verse chapter three, chapter four, somewhere in the second uh, second um, creation story. Yeah, it's it's in two, the second right second chapter. Yeah, because in our mind we're putting one before two when God is expressing to us both of these things. Either one of these things either happened before the other, but it's almost kind of one of those things like, and this is me thinking and rambling. Would it matter what came first, the chicken or the egg? All that matters is that it's a chicken, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. Don't get yeah, it twisted. No, I, 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 I do yeah, get I'm, it. I'm rolling with the but chicken and the egg thing I'm yeah. thinking about. Like, which one comes first? Right. Yeah. It, and the question is, is is not just is is the chicken or the egg is just the fact that it is it is yeah. a chicken yeah. because god is I, basically saying to us look at what i created because mm -hmm. at the at the end of it all god is showing us this is what they did and this is what i did yeah whether yeah. it's whether it's be whether it's one or two it almost doesn't it, you, there's no difference in between the two other than god created one and the other gods created the other. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, nah, I, nah, I, I just want to respond to that. And now, do you said that the other day when we was talking? I, I'm not holding to Adam didn't come first, or that he was the first man. Like I mm. will, and and I, I may have said that, but let me retract that because this is how we grow. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm not holding to whether or not Adam came first or second because that makes sense. Why would he not make the perfect man first? Mm. Only thing that I am saying is that these two accounts are different. Mm. That's my main thing. And it kind of makes sense, logically speaking, that Adam and his lineage would come first. Mm -hmm. And then something tried to duplicate what mm -hmm. God had, what that, that yeah. Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh did it. He did it. We can do it too. Let us make man. And, and that's why we got to do it together. Mm -hmm. You know, this, yeah. this, this guy, this guy, he did it all did by it. himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let us try, let us, try, let's put our heads together. Ooh, and that's when, that's when your, your Anunnaki's jump in there, Mark. I mean, now, uh -oh. see, I'm not, when I, the Anunnaki's, that ain't, my, they was, that ain't my place. <laughs> but the only difference is with Anunnaki is, is they say that these guys working together because it was. Some was you get a little bit from this from the woman from this from this the mm. Syrian people gave us our consciousness and all this, but that was the perfect man. But they had tried and tried and failed mm. before they got it right. Mm. Yeah, the, well, it's not it's not tried and tried to fail. It's the same. It, it's it lined up the same way. Well, as the, as the Bible do, they well, did. Yeah. You know, they created the man first without the breath of God in. And then they created the second one that was perfect and all that. It lined up the same way. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. Like I but said, no, we don't, no, we don't I'm know. Saying if we saying, we if know. we saying Adam came first, is that, that's what I was saying. If Adam did right, right. come first, it wouldn't line up with what they were saying. But the way it reads right now, it, it reads the same up. way as the Bible, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like I said, we don't, like they, said, we, don't inferior, we don't know, we don't know if it's in person. order. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, they were just trying to make a point. We don't know if they writing it like, okay, God created these and created these. You know, they were just writing. Yeah. Well, you know well, what I'm saying? We, yeah, yeah, we we uh <laughs> We definitely probably not going to be able to dissect in this conversation that detailed account of the Sumerian tablets. But I definitely want us to, especially because Will said he, he that wasn't his lane. But I do want to dissect that a little bit more because if it is a lot of truth hidden in in that account, it's way more detailed, like you said before, Nando. It's way more detailed what Moses gave us, and it's for a reason. Like I said, and I said this the other day, Will. I said the reason why I feel like Moses' account, or if whoever it is, we're just going to keep saying Moses, Nando, if you all right with that. Whoever wrote the Torah, all right? The purpose of this was kind of unfolding the return, I mean, the coming of Christ, Okay. We're telling his story and kind of like what you said, Will, about everything you can you can see that the similarity and the symbolism all throughout the Old Testament. You know, that was the purpose of it. It wasn't to give this detailed account, you mm-hmm. know, and, and and I think a lot of times. And, why and it was about it. those people. It was about those people and their God. Who? Um, Sumerians, you talking about? No, the Israelites, the Hebrews, the Jews. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, you know yeah, what I'm saying? This that's of, this group that's what the Bible yeah, is. Yeah. The Bible is bringing Christ and their culture. Because their the people. thing, because you know the thing about it is, when you start talking about, when we was talking earlier about um, all those people being in Sumer, all of uh, Noah's uh, grandkids and kids being in Sumer, but we don't know how much they begin to branch off these descendants of Noah and begin to adopt their own philosophies and their own build their own cities. Now, now Will got me going with this whole city thing. You know, build their own city, meaning build their own thought, build their own ideas. You know what I'm saying? You that's when you start to see that come up, and that could be what Sumer is. Sumer might not be directly from Noah. You feel me? But it's from the descendants of Noah that broke off and started their own cities, meaning start their own ideas. And remember, we read that. I think that's in Jasher or Jubilee. We always get them two mixed up. But in one of those two, remember, we read how Noah started telling his sons that, like, look, y'all, y'all growing, y'all getting, it's, it's a lot of us starting to, to, to multiply. Like, if y'all don't get this right, me splitting up this area and all this, like, evil's going to gonna come after y'all you know kind of like the same thing god told cain you know what i'm saying so there you start to see where they start to break away you know and 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 adopt some of the stuff and remember when we read i forgot what book that was when we read about one of seth's kids i think it was a a, i ain't about to try to mess the name up a a a, a, i ain't gonna say it all right thank you (laughs) Our facts are, thank you, man. Remember how he found he found the writings of the watchers that was buried after the flood? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, and like you said, it, it don't even have to be like sometimes I, I look at it like maybe it, it wasn't intentional, but it could have been intentional too. Like you said, it's it's a thought. People start their own cities because that's what you see in that's what you see in ancient Samaria. You see the different cities worshiping. The different gods. It was the god of water or the god of sun or the sun, which they are the same God. God created all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But they had different names. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's different thoughts though. Okay. So we're gonna, you know, highlight this part of God. Or we're gonna mm-hmm. highlight this part of God. Just the same thing with Egypt. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna highlight this part, different eras, different towns in these. It's just like just like Christianity, like people in the Middle East don't look at God like we look at God. Mm-hmm. 
people in China don't look at God like people in the West look at God. I done read a hundred shits, watched a hundred videos how motherfuckers in the middle, pe Christians in the Middle East talk cash shit about us over here. Yeah. Yeah. On, on how we look at God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. think how they, they was expanding and the world was populating, yeah. As you get further and further away from something, the message gets diluted. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. how we are today. The message to be a Christian is so diluted. All you got to do is ask for forgiveness and believe that Jesus <laughs> died on the cross and, and you, you saved. Yeah, yeah. I'll be damned if God gonna let you into heaven just off of that. Right, right. Without 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 you know having what I'm without without having to understand no knowledge about of nothing else. Is, no knowledge of who God is or anything. No, it takes yeah. that. It ta it takes that. And yeah, I mean you know, you look you look at the early church, like they weren't just letting people like you know, you go to church today and they do an altar call, you walk up there and you say they weren't doing that shit in the early church, man. It was a whole process, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to come yeah. in here. We got to talk to you for a month. Make yeah. sure you're ready to make this transition. You know, nah, it was a whole, the, you know, yeah. it wasn't easy, man. Remember the scenes? You had, you had to put in work for seven years. That's what I'm talking about. The early seven church, years, the scenes. You had to, change, the you had scenes, to show the me that you're going to stick to this diet. You're going to stick to yeah. this abstinence. You're yep. going to stick to this. You're going to stick to this. You had to do it for seven years before you can, you know, even be. Even considered. call yourself yeah, a Christian. Yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 The scenes, the Gnostics, exactly. all, them, all that was the early church. Yeah. Like they, they weren't even calling themselves anything. Yeah. It's no, a, it was a the lifestyle. Way. Yeah, the, the way, way. Yeah, but I mean, not the scenes wasn't even calling themselves the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. That's yeah. that's just Gnostics wasn't calling themselves the Gnostics. That's how we identify who they were because of the area they was in. Right, the right. scenes and the Nazarenes. Right. Jesus was a Nazarene. It was the same thing. That was just that's where they were at, in that area of Nazareth. Yeah, it was like you know what I'm it saying? was like Jesus was being from Gary and Jerusalem, in Chicago. Right, you know what I'm saying. That's where he was at. But yeah, but anyway, man, yeah, it's it's, it's a lot to unpack just in this conversation, man. I'm to, I can't wait to go back and listen to it so I can pull out all of these nuggets that we pulled out. But yeah, we uh we lost Matt. Will over there got peace getting fed pizza like a king. You know what I mean? So <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, it's just an indication my son with my attention. So yeah. Though, though, man, you always hit us with some good closing remarks, man. You want right. to, you want to, you want to hit us, hit us with it. All right, y'all go first, man. So I go first, Will. So we just want to just close remarks where we at right now, uh, man. I, I feel like this talk for me definitely uh, uh, put me in a, a perspective to analyze like our true self, you know what I'm saying? Like what the capabilities are in us and how we've gotten away from that. We started the conversation off talking about de-evolution, you know what I'm saying? But the process that God has placed in front of us for us to now actually evolve. I think that the, the theory of evolution is a genuine theory you know what i'm saying we should be evolving but it just shouldn't be our our physical selves but it should be our conscious selves too you know our our soul our soul should be gravitating towards that ruha breath that spirit that lies in us you know and pulling us towards us really understanding who we are so i i i, I picked those 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 things out to take away just from my own spiritual enlightenment man so that's that's my takeaway. Um, if I had to say anything, it's something that uh, I have been dealing with because uh, we at the church, the church that I attend, we've been dealing with a lot of a lot of death and something that God keeps putting on me almost daily now uh, is that life is a constant desire for balance. It's not a not necessarily a constant desire for knowledge. That's all good. 
and it's not a constant desire to um, to achieve, but it is literally our only way back to God's presence through Jesus. But in order for us to make that transition of balance, to truly be a balanced being, mind, body, and soul, we have to go through this life to get that balance. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, no, I like that. I like that. You got to yeah. go through that. Yeah. That process. Yeah. yeah. All right, though. Close us out. All right. I want to thank God for this time that he gave us the fellowship today. I want to thank my nigga Willie for getting on here with us. <laughs> He's my guy, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to continue to keep growing, man. Um, I want to let everybody out there know that we're not perfect. So the stuff that we're talking about, we including ourselves in it. When we're talking about de-evolution and all that, you know what I'm saying? We seeing you hit me on here cursing and you know stuff like that. I see it every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we doing this so we can grow. Like I said last time, Sunday morning ain't going to get it. Wednesday ain't going to get it. We got to have this. And as many people as we can, we just want a fellowship. God say, don't forsake the gathering of his people. That's what this is. You ain't got to sit in no building. You know what I'm saying? It's about learning, growing your spirit, and getting ready for what's after this. Yep, yep, yeah. All right. Well, that I like that's, it. That sums it up, man. So, till next time. Yeah, yeah.